Welcome to the final part of my color palette texture series. In this video I will show you how to create the color palette template that I personally use. This template is the beginning of any project that I start and will be used in any future videos that I create. If you haven't already created the base and emissive texture then start at the beginning of my color palette texture series, link in the description. Okay, let's get into this. Pause the video if you wish to read the disclaimer. You will need the base and emissive color palette textures that we have already created in the previous tutorials of this series. If you haven't created the textures then head to the beginning of this tutorial series, alternatively you can purchase my color palette texture pack, both links are in the description. I like to keep things organized, so let's start by making a folder to contain all of the things required for our template. Open your template folder, then create another folder and name it textures. Now drag and drop the textures into the textures folder. We want the blender file to be in the template folder, so open blender and select save as. Locate your template folder and name the file, then click save. Close blender and check your template folder contains your new blender template file. Now this folder will be the starting point for any future projects that we create, but at the moment this is just a blank blender file. Let's add the textures and complete this template. Open your template folder and double click on your newly created Blender template file. Once Blender is open we can now start to build the color palette template. I will use the standard Blender cube because it is a good starting point when creating low poly models. First thing we need to do is move over to the shading workspace. This is where you will attach materials to your model. I like to rearrange the workspace so that I have a larger 3D viewport and a vertical shader editor window. This makes for an easier life when making changes. We will extend the 3D viewport down by hovering the mouse cursor over the lower left corner of the 3D viewport window. When the cursor changes to a plus sign hold the left mouse button down and drag down until the cursor changes to a down arrow, let go of the mouse button. The 3D viewport should merge with the lower window creating one large window. We will repeat the process to make the shader editor window vertical. Hover the mouse cursor over the top corner of the lower left window. When the cursor changes to a plus sign hold the left mouse button down and drag up until the cursor changes to an up arrow, let go of the mouse button. That's all of the rearranging done. Because the shader editor wasn't selected we will have to manually set up the vertical window. Select shader editor from the editor type pull down menu located in the top left of the vertical window. Press N to close the side menu. Now it's time to add the textures to the material. To make things simple I move the blender window over to reveal our template folder. Open the template folder and locate the two textures. First drag and drop the base color palette texture onto the shader editor window. Now the texture is loaded left click the yellow color point and drag the line to the principal BSFD shader base color point. I like to zoom into the model to make sure the settings take effect. Select the linear pull down menu and change the setting to closest. You should see the model colors appear sharper. Now all we have to do is repeat the process to import the emissive texture. Drag and drop the emissive color palette texture into the shader editor. Left click and drag the yellow color point of the emissive texture to the principal BSDF shader emission point. Select the linear pull down menu and change the setting to closest. You should see the model colors appear sharper. If you find my content useful then please like, follow, share, and comment. Make sure the base color palette texture is selected before moving over to the UV editor workspace. As you can see here the problem is if the emissive color palette texture is selected you will see the emissive color palette, which does not show all of the available colors of the base texture. Go back to the shader editor and select the base color palette texture by left clicking on the texture, you will see an outline appear around the base texture when selected. Head back to the UV editor workspace to color the model. Don't forget to save. I usually like to work in the solid view mode because my computer slows down when building complex models, then switch to rendered view to finalize colors. Material view will display the colors of the model without the effect of the scene lights and shadows. Let's do some setting up with the viewport. Select the rendered view from the top right menu. Now you will see the color palette on the cube, but there is no emission. Select the Render Properties tab on the right-hand side and check the Ambient Occlusion, Bloom and Screen Space Reflections. Now you should see the emissive parts glow. Now comes the fun part, coloring the model. Go to the UV Editing Workspace and make sure you are in Edit Mode. 
If you are in object mode, select the pull-down menu which is located in the top left side of the 3D viewport window and select edit mode. With the mouse cursor in the 3D viewport window press A to select all. You should see the outline of a flattened out cube that looks like a cross appear in the UV editor window. Move the mouse cursor to the UV editor window and press A to select all. When selected the cross should highlight orange. Press S to scale and then shrink the cross down small enough to fit in one square of the color palette. As you can see when we move the cross there is no change to the color of the cube. This is because we are in the object mode. Let's remedy this problem by changing to material preview mode. Select material preview from the top right menu. If the menu item is not visible, move the mouse cursor over the menu and use the scroll wheel to reveal the required menu item. Now change from object mode to material preview mode. Press G to move the cross. Move the cross to your desired color, and now you should see the color of the cube change as you drag the cross over the color palette. It is best to be in material preview rather than render view because you get to see the true color without any light or shadow effects. That is the color palette template done. Don't forget to save. Quit out of Blender and I will show you how I get to the starting point of all of my projects. First duplicate the color palette template folder. Rename the copy to your new project name. Go in the folder and rename the Blender file to your new project name and delete the Blend1 file. Open the new project file. Blender always loads in object mode, to see the colors, change to material preview mode, and that's it you have your color palette template, and know how to get to the starting point of any project that I create. All of my low poly models and tutorials will start with this color palette template. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of my new content. Thank you for watching, see you soon.